27 is underway in Egypt. World leaders converge to discuss and come up with effective strategies to limit global warming and carbon emissions. This as Egypt is battling multiple climate-related crises. In the latest, farmers are now turning to solar power to reduce farming costs and emissions. Take a look at our next report to know more. Climate change and its impact is evident in Egypt, particularly on the Nile River. Once worshipped, the Nile now faces existential threat, a water source that 10 countries rely on for their irrigation systems, drinking water needs and power. With the Nile at risk and rising energy costs, farmers in the Delta are now turning to solar power. Many places here are out of the reach of the electricity grid, so farmers depend on diesel fuels, which is really hard to get. As it costs a lot of money, we are talking about a huge amount of fuel, not just a few litres, as the land needs huge amounts of water, which in turn requires a lot of fuel. Additionally, the machine needs new oil every hundred operating hours, not to mention maintenance fees. This is why farmers are turning to solar energy. Solar energy is proving to be an effective and successful solution. It has helped not just reduce the operational costs, but also contributes to lowering CO2 emissions. That being said, many farmers do not have the resources and the funds to install solar panels. And this is where the UN finance solar panels have come in handy. Most farmers in Egypt irrigate their lands by raising water from canals using motors, which consume a lot of energy and leads to increased CO2 emissions, which we try to reduce. Every year for the past six years, the Mediterranean has eaten away between 35 and 75 meters of the Nile Delta. Over half a billion people rely on the Nile. But climate change, human intervention, exploitation and pollution have put the Nile at risk. According to reports, the flow of Nile could reduce by 70 percent by the end of the century. Needless to say that this has raised concerns and Egypt is feeling the pressure to rethink its climate goals. Under Egypt's 2030 vision, the government intends to increase the supply of electricity generated from renewable sources to 42% by 2035. With COP27 underway in Egypt this time, there will be strong focus on the need for damage and loss payments by rich countries. It remains to be seen if rich countries with significantly higher emissions will unite on decarbonization goals and if they will help developing nations that have faced disproportionate impacts of climate change. Bureau Report, World of Africa.